In a nutshell, Dark Void is a 3D action adventure that really emphasizes the verticality of combat. What that really means is that we're taking full advantage of the, of the play field. You know, um, Ed Freeze actually um, made a good point. He said, you know, a lot of third-person shooters kind of have a character, a third-person character, with kind of a camera orb around it. And what happens is, is the camera, when you look up, can't really track or you can't really have gameplay above the player. So as a result, the designer really has to stay constrained in a horizontal field. What we're doing with Dark Void is with vertical combat, with the grip system, with UFOs, with the jetpack, we're really opening up the play field to the player. And I think it's really an experience that people kind of wonder, why hasn't this been done before? We can't reveal too much about the story, but if you did a Cliff Notes version of it, it would be that Will's sort of a uh, kind of down and out pilot, and he's doing a cargo run through the Bermuda Triangle, which is not a great idea, right? So his navigation goes out, he crashes on the island, and he runs into sort of this mysterious ancient race called the Watchers. Now the Watchers are coming through this parallel universe, and they trap Will in it. We take sort of the cover terminology that you probably are really familiar with with Gears of War, and what we do is we just turn that on its end. So what we do is when you, when you hit X to get into cover, you can leap from ledge to ledge, you can take cover behind, behind a ledge, you can peek over and shoot, you can zoom in and shoot at enemies, you can even shoot at enemies below you to the side. Now, you're not completely safe, however, like you are in horizontal combat. In vertical combat, you're hanging onto a ledge for dear life. So if you're hit by falling debris, that vertical cover and make yourself more vulnerable with the jetpack. You're very nimble and fast in that state, but you're also very vulnerable. You know, people can, the watchers can look up at you and shoot at you. You're vulnerable with all sorts of sort of anti-aircraft fire. But then what you can do is, you know, you might want something a little meatier so you can kind of reach out and grab a UFO. And that's where our grip system also comes into play. You can kind of hang around the outside of that UFO and navigate around it while you're taking out key systems of the UFO, which then let you enter it and then use it. You know, what we really want to do is design these levels where the player gets to make the decisions on how he wants to attack the level, and we really think that's the way to make it the most fun. Creating an all new IP and universe from scratch is a daunting task, and it was really interesting to kind of work with Nathan Crowley, who worked on Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, you know, he redesigned the Tumblr, and kind of work with us on kind of just showing how to make that world come together. We had a lot of great ideas. Airtight have a very talented art staff, as you can see from the game. But bringing in that outside opinion and working with them and getting a different thought process really, I think, pushed Dark Void over the top. And now we can take cues from that and you know, run with it. There's, there's two huge moments that I think are the most kick-ass things about this game. The first is in vertical cover when you kind of fly up and you reach out and grab a watcher and you throw him down the cliff face and you get to watch him sort of uh, plinko his way down off of cliffs. The other thing is the first time that you hit that button to ignite the jetpack and he goes flying. You know, the animators at Airtight are so awesome at making Will feel like he's a normal guy with this crazy dangerous thing strapped to his back. And the way that he sort of flails and then reconstitutes himself in midair, especially during uh, changes in direction as well, it's just, it, it feels fantastic. I think um, what makes Dark Boy an, an adventure title is the story, you know, and just going through the story and the user living a story. You know, Airtight likes to think of story and gameplay as one. And I think the adventure kind of comes from kind of the trials and tribulations that Will has to go through and the choices he has to make in, a, in accompaniment with the user choices that they have to make. You'll see Dark Void in about a year.